Good evening, everybody. This is take number two of this video because my cat kept getting into something and was being really, really loud. And that's okay. It's today's short and sweet video. We're going to talk about Gowith Original Snuff. Gowith Original Snuff. Let's show you the back. It's from Perschel Tabac. Made in Germany. 10 gram tap box here. Last night, before I went to bed, I... I, I, I you know, thought to myself, man, I want to do some snuff before I go to bed. I usually like to get a good tobacco or a nicotine hit before I go to bed. So I thought, man, I'm going to try something different other than the hedges, the BM, the Radfords, and all that stuff. Let's try something different. And I reached in my box here and grabbed the Gowith Original. I tapped some out and tried it and thought, man, that's a really strange flavor. Uh, but I noticed that the nicotine in it is good. For whatever reason, I was expecting it to be like the Glutcher Priest, which for me, Glutcher Priest doesn't have a huge nicotine hit. I don't know why. I love the Glutcher Priest. I've made a video about it before. I love this stuff. It's exceptional snuff. Just for me, for whatever reason, I don't get a strong nicotine hit. Anyway, today, uh, I, before I went to work, I picked out one or two snuffs to bring with me uh, to work, and this is the main one that I've been on all day been this one and then you know a bump or two of hedges every now and then uh so yeah before i get to talking about it let's have a little bit it's in a 10 gram tap box uh, it's going to be really difficult for me to show y'all the uh you know any details about it i can try and put this up to my up to the camera i really have no clue if you guys can see that or not uh anyway it's about, if, if you guys have seen Gletcher Prees or have seen Red Bull, it's a very similar texture, similar color. Uh, anyway, I'll just take a pinch here. Cheers, everybody. Just clean my nose out really well. With some saline. All right, we got a little more here. And the classic bump off the hand. All right, so let's talk about this one. It's got a good menthol hit. Uh, it's not stout. This is a great beginner snuff for as far as like you're not getting a huge blast of menthol. Uh, it's a it's a very mild blast. Of, uh, it's a really mild hit of menthol. It's not a super blast, you know, like some snuffs are. Still got menthol in it, but it's just not super hardcore to me. Right underneath that cool menthol, there is this fruity, almost peachy, I guess apricot. It's supposed to be apricot, uh, but I kind of get a peach scent out of it. Maybe apricot, peach, it's kind of similar. It, you know, it's kind of a cross between that is what I smell. It says on the Toke website, uh, Gowith Original is an apricot snuff with a hint of menthol. A cross between German and English snuffs, making it an easy snuff for beginners. It's very cheap. One of these tins says it's a dollar sixty-nine euro. Uh, so I don't even know the good conversion on that. It's probably two fifty, two dollars and fifty cents American for a can of this. It's it's just a cool, refreshing menthol. It's not overwhelming. It doesn't punch you. Uh, it's just a good, refreshing menthol hit. And then it's got this underlying fruity, peachy, apricotty, maybe a little bit of herbally scent underneath it. It's it's a great snuff. I'll, I'll tell you right now, on a scale of 1 to 10, would I do this every day or put it in my rotation? Well, I can tell you it's going to go in my rotation for sure. I give it a solid 8. I give it a solid 8. I like this snuff. Maybe, maybe even a 9. I'm right in between there. I like this snuff a lot. This is going to be a snuff that I will make sure to never run out of. Uh, it's delightful. It really is. Pardon my cat again being mischievous over there. She's the most mischievous cat. Her name is Lily. And uh, I named her after the demon goddess Lilith. <laughs> if that gives you an example of how crazy she can be. Anyway. Uh, yeah, it's an excellent snuff, guys. And what I was talking about a little while ago about the nicotine. For whatever reason... I get a pretty strong nicotine hit out of this snuff, more so than any other menthol that I have. 
uh, you know, this, this today I got some and I started getting on it. You, I'm used to the hedges or the BM or whatever, and I mean, I'll start shoveling it in. You know, I'll take, you know, three or four decent bumps in each nostril and then put my can away. You know, I, I really start digging into it. Pretty big bumps, too. This one, I did the same thing this morning. Uh, I poured some out, got some, poured some out, did it in the other nostril, and I did that about you know, three times in each nostril, and boy, the nicotine really kicked my ass. Uh, it wasn't a bad thing. I'm kind of a nicotine junkie, you know, it doesn't, it wasn't a bad thing, wasn't uncomfortable, but it was a, it was a stout nicotine hit. I don't know why. I really have no clue. Why, why would the Goweth original be any different than the Gletcher Priest? The Red Bull has a good, has a pretty decent nicotine hit, but the Goweth original, something about it, is is it's it's it'll it'll give you some nicotine for me anyway that's my experience i watch uh simply snuff's video about it and he said it's got a, a medium nicotine hit for him uh, for whatever reason for me this is a stronger stronger nicotine so take that for what it's worth i like that though let's go ahead and do one more here we'll do it the old-fashioned way and throw it here in this little ditch of my hand uh, let's, let's, let's go a little bit more. What do you say? I always kind of mush out those little balls. Sometimes the little balls that beat up in here because of the moisture. I got a good one here. You guys may be able to see that. Here we go. I better wipe my nose. I, I have a habit of not wiping my nose in these videos and I'll be sitting there throughout the whole video having, having snuff right there on my nose. Let's get the other one here. Ooh, I went a little hard on that one. It'll be fine. Here we go. Cheers, everybody. Woo! That one hit the spot. There's a spot back there in your nose when you get it up in up there in that in the mucous membranes or those glands. I did it earlier today with the hedges. I had just blown my nose. I took some hedges, and then in my other nostril, I did it, and it was just like frost. It like was so cold in my face, I could feel it. It was icy cold. I love that pain though. I don't know why. I really do. My partner or my helper at work, uh, I've been getting him on to snuff, having him try all these. And uh, every time he does the hedges or the Red Bull, it kills him. <laughs> he, he, he likes it, but he kind of doesn't like it at the same time. But that last hit just now really got me, the Goweth here. The menthol, Again, it's not overwhelming. It really isn't. Uh, but, uh, yeah, the apricot is really great. I really like it. I didn't, I, I, I'll be honest, I'll do a review uh, eventually of the McChrystal Sunset. Uh, I'm going to make a video for it, but I promise you it's going to be a short video. I don't like it, period. <laughs> I straight up don't like it. The, the apricot that they use in that, in my opinion, tastes real... Uh, artificial and it's overly sweet I just don't like it you know the Sicilian burst I like it I didn't what I'm getting at is I figured I wouldn't really like the uh, the fruity ones but this one is a will end up being in my daily rotation for sure I like it a lot I recommend it Herschel to back really cheap on Toke's website I think I'm gonna start trying to recommend people go to Toke uh, more often, I'm not affiliated with Toke in any way. In, in fact, I'm still waiting on a package that I ordered on June 1st, and today is uh, July 8th. I ordered one package on June 1st. That was the first one I ordered, which was a good $50 order. And then I ordered another package on the 7th of June, and it was a, you know, an $80 order. And I got the, the second package a week ago. I got the second package. Obviously, I'm doing all these reviews about a week ago. And the first one's still nowhere to be found. The second package was a tracked package, though, uh, through FedEx. So when it got in the States, I could track it. And so it was here pretty quick. I think it was here in 28 days. And the uh, the other one that I got coming uh, was, you know, it's, it still hasn't arrived. I don't have it pulled up, but I, uh, I got quite a bit of, of minty menthols coming in my first package. I'm surprised it's not here yet. So once, once it gets here, uh, we'll... we'll We'll go from there, but uh, until then, Goweth Original. If you like menthols, you'll love this. It's a delightful, lightly fruity uh, snuff. Really, really good. I like it a lot. I highly recommend it. Uh, 
I have yet to have a partial, partial snuff that I don't like. The Red Bull, I like it. Red Bull's pretty hardcore, but I like it. I have some Low and Priest. Actually, I take that back. The Low and Priest, I'm not crazy about. It's okay. I'm going to do a review. Letcher Priest, love it. Absolutely love it. Uh, the Radfords, I still haven't done a review for it. I love it big time. Uh, I got some uh, Packards uh, that I need to review. And I got some Goweth Silver. I'm not really too crazy about this one. Anyway, Herschel Tobacco, Goweth Original Snuff. Give it a try. I hope you like it. Comment below if you know any any reason how the process of what makes a tobacco have more nicotine. I know there could be rustica tobacco and different cuts of tobacco and different chemical uh, processing that could cause the nicotine to come out more. Uh, I don't know. Galath Original, great, great snuff. You guys have a good evening. Thank you guys so much for watching. Cheers.